Alright, now this is Crane Road and we're in District 15 today with Property Lim Brothers. Three beta penthouse standing at 1722 square feet. There's a very, very exclusive project with only 12 units. So alright on level 1, as you come in, uh, there's actually a gated kind of a facility. Ooh, facility. <laughs> so right here at Crane Court, of course you get a sheltered uh, base, not basement. So right here at Crane Court, you get a sheltered uh, ground level parking. So District 15, you have your conservation shop houses, landed and clave, and of course the HDB cluster behind, a very rare one at Hick View. So we're taking you to a 3 beta penthouse standing at 1722 square feet with the PSF pricing of just under a thousand. So let's go check out the place. Now, why do we think this is a very unique property is that if you look at the entire District 15 belt, uh, where we're actually located is right in between two main roads, one fronting uh, the Changi Road area and then of course the other is at East Coast Road. So where we're actually at is in the middle, a good mix of landed properties as well as this very unique uh, HDB cluster here at Hague View. Alright, diving into the project details, this project here at Crane Court TOP in 2004, it's of freehold nature. There's a very, very exclusive project with only 12 units and predominantly there are about 9 2 beta units and these rare 3 units of penthouses which are the 3 betas. So right here at Crane Court, you get a sheltered ground level parking, so meaning you can drive on in, it's actually at road level. And as you are walking in from the car park, you also notice there is a swimming pool for the development. So I think for development of size of 12 units, I think to have a little pool, a good ample kind of a parking as well, I think that's great to have. So if you're having visitors, of course, uh, this location, if you pull out the map, you'll notice that we're actually situated right on beside the HDB cluster known as Hague View. Of course, over there, if you have friends or visitors coming, you can simply park their cars right on over there. Uh, it's very convenient. It's just a short, like, two-minute walk to the development itself. If you look at the spatial uh, kind of a breakdown, this is a total of 1722 square feet and if we take the lower level, level 4 unit, uh, it's actually a 2 beta standing at 969 square feet uh, which means that for this penthouse, we get an additional 3rd bedroom as well as a roof patio which we'll show you in a short while, uh, that's about 753 square feet. Now next up, let's dive into the location analysis and share with you how you can actually arrive home, let's say you're driving or in fact you're taking public transportation. So if you're coming from the eastern side of Singapore, let's say Changi Airport, you can head on down by ECP and exit via Steel Road, heading on to Juchet Place and then turning on to Craig Road. Now if you're working in the CBD zoning and you're heading home from work, you can head on back from the ECP towards Tanjong Katong Road, then on to Dunman Road and then finally on to Ceylon Road which takes you to Crane Court itself. Another alternative is you can also head back via the Nicoll Highway towards Mountbatten Road and then on towards Old Airport Road to Dunman Road and then again towards Ceylon Road which takes you to Crane Court. Now if you're taking the MRT from Crane Court, this is about 11 minutes bus ride to the Pai Lebar MRT station which is the interchange station for the East West and Circle Line. So let's have a look at the east-west line. Four stops down, you get to Bugis, and five to six stops down, you'll arrive at City Hall and Raffles Place. Hop onto the circle line of the Pai Bar station, then it takes you five to six stops downwards towards Promenade and Bayfront. In the opposite direction, you also get massive connectivity because you're basically connected to almost every coloured line of the MRT system. It's one stop to Macpherson, which is the downtown line, four stops to Serangoon, which is the northeast line, six stops to Bishan, which is the north-south line, and eight stops to Caldercott, which is your Thompson East Coast line, which just opened in August of 2021. Now, coming up to this Apple level, I'm very excited to show you this particular level because from the roof terrace you get to enjoy very beautiful views overlooking the entire lander enclave uh, but before we go there let's have a look at some of the pricing analysis and comparisons within the D15 zoning so if we do a quick sorting the lowest price unit is actually at 1.58 million which is the bill uh, and if we go down the list we also see other condominiums such as Maya which is at 1.8 million Everett Green which is at 1.82 million uh, Worthington at 1.9 million La Mariposa which is at about 1.92 million now if we come back to our unit here at Crane Court, uh, this is of course a penthouse unit so you get this additional private roof terrace space on top uh, which is about 300 odd square feet you still get an internal space of close to about 1400 square feet on estimate so our price here is at about 1.7 million PSF at under a thousand per square foot so if, I think if you kind of love an interplay of outdoor and indoor kind of spacing uh, you kind of want a bit more outdoor spaces to do some gardening or if you're going to like, like a lounging area in your roof terrace then I think penthouse layouts would definitely suit you 
If you're not convinced, let's have a look deeper. Let's dive a bit deeper into the pricing comparisons here uh, for penthouses even. So we compare the three hole, three bedder kind of penthouses in the District 15 zoning. We notice that there are a couple of projects right here that TOP after the year 2000. Most of them are priced at about $2 million onwards. So where we are at here at Crane Court, we are priced at $1.7 million. I think we are in a very decent kind of an entry pricing quantum. We want to further analyze this because uh, let's have a look at the new launches because the new launches, as we all know, is kind of like the pricing indicator for the resale properties to kind of match up to. If we look at some of the new launches in the area, now this table that we have here is kind of, we have filtered it down to one of the larger type of sizes uh, for 3 beta District 15 new launches. Look at the line at Tanjong Ru, the penthouses there are going at about 2,500 per square foot. If you look at Neon, that's about 2,002 per square foot. Ember Park, which is also about close to about 2,300 per square foot. So most of the new launches that we see around the D15 zoning, in terms of the larger size type of units, they're all hovering at about the 2,000 odd per square foot mark. Now, if you're considering one of the larger type of three bedder units, whether it's a penthouse or simply those that are larger in size, uh, generally, I think your per square foot pricing is going to be hovering at above 2,200 odd per square foot. As compared to where we are at Crane Court, uh, we're actually priced at under 1,000 per square foot. So what that means for you is whether you're an own stay home buyer or even you're buying this like an investment kind of a property, I think that disparity effect is definitely there uh, close to about a 1,000 odd per square foot. Now, so here at Property Lim Brothers, we we have the trifecta sweet spot triangle, so let's bring that up. I think this unit here is very generously sized at 1722 square feet. Price quantum wise, we are listed at 1.7 million, which just puts us at a per square foot pricing of under 1,000. And we have that rare freehold status here in District 15 at the Katong uh, Marine Parade area as well. So if you're looking for a next home that has a three beta type of a setup, I think you should consider this three beta penthouse here at Crane Court. So we're doing things a little differently today. We're going to start right on the roof terrace itself because that's what you want to want to have uh, when you actually own a penthouse here at District 15. Look at these beautiful views. This is fantastic because every day when you wake up, you can just head on out here into your roof terrace space and then enjoy this view. Or even on a weekend, actually right on behind here, you actually get a jacuzzi as well. And it plays very strategically so that you can your head actually rests at the back over there and you can overlook into this very beautiful unlocked views of the District 15 landed and clay. So I think this is something that you want to behold when you actually own a 3 beta penthouse here in District 15 zone that's freehold status. Of course, you can grow some plants as well, right on like over here. Uh, I think this is a papaya tree. That is a frangipani tree. And then there's another papaya tree located right on over here. Uh, and then of course, because you have your own roof garden, you can do all this green finger kind of stuff. I'm not a green finger person, but I think if you are one, you can definitely put on some plants here. In this roof terrace space, I think it's very generously sized. Retractable awnings are already done for you. So this space actually becomes a semi kind of indoor, outdoor kind of interplay. You can put in like what we, our owners have done. This is like a six to eight seater kind of of a lounging couch here. If you have friends over, uh, you want to do a barbecue because if you own a penthouse, you can definitely do, you must do a barbecue, right? So you have your washing zone located right on over here as well uh, with storage spaces below. Flooring is all decked out in timber already. Uh, all you got to do is just basically give it a good buff and polish. So you have three different segments even here on your roof terrace. So at the frontal area, you have the very nice unblocked views uh, from your jacuzzi. It was, there's also a little couch there. And then your central zoning, which is in front of your master bedroom, is this lounging area. So if you're having a barbecue or just gathering, you can do that right here. And then of course, you have a zone specifically for planting greens. Like this is a lady's fingers plant. So you can do this whole hydroponics thing. I think that's quite an in thing nowadays without a soil, you can do that. In fact, this zone is also already protected and shielded to give you more privacy as well. So green zone, barbecue zone, right? on here you can do your barbecue as well so i think it's good because it's tucked away in the corner technically no one can kind of look into you because you already have this shooting done up for you so a lot of privacy and then once you're done with the food you can just bring it to your lounging area to basically enjoy with your guests and family and what's also a bonus is that you have this door come there and show you them this door this is great because if you are kind of having guests coming up to visit you uh, they don't have to go through your master bedroom over here they can simply just exit via this door This space right here is your master bedroom, very, very um, private kind of sanctuary on the upper level. So you have your ensuite bath at the back. Uh, I think it's very good size. This is like a 
You can definitely fit in like a queen or king size bed and of course your wardrobes are right across in this location. So you have like a four panel wardrobe, there's a little uh, kind of like work or study desk right here as well. You kind of want to do that. And I think the space is very rectangular and very square. It's easy to kind of put in a furniture in your bedroom. Now of course your master bathroom is super private as well. You can just simply not put down the blinds if you are okay with that because no one can look into your bathroom right here. In fact, right on in front I can touch the water of my jacuzzi right over here as well. So this is of course your northeastern uh, facing. In fact, right now it's like almost at 11.30 a.m. Right, so this is the morning kind of facing that you get. Shower screen and doors are already done up. In this corner, there's also like a mini kind of dresser already done up as well. If not, you can convert it to more storage. And then sink and bottom vanity in this uh, corner. And of course, your sliding door is located right here. So you can just enclose it if you kind of like to. If not, I think no one can actually look into your space. You can just keep it open if you like. Uh, but if not, then the door is already there for you as well. And of course, for those of you who've been following the Property Lane Brothers channel, you know that I'm 1.9 meters. So this roof is definitely perfect for someone like me, right? Or if not, it's just for someone uh, who basically wants to enjoy high ceiling type of uh, living right here in the penthouse. And what I noticed is also this is like a sloping pitch roof kind of effect. So it gives you a, almost like a semi kind of landed view uh, of the attic zoning. Right, so now we're heading down to the lower level. Uh, in fact, this stairwell, I think what's great is you can simply do up some like kind of art gallery style kind of pictures over on this wall as you kind of head on down or if you're heading up. Uh, like our owners have done, there's one right over here as well. Right, so the staircase is also very interesting because it's like a, it's not a spiral, but it's kind of like a U-shaped kind of staircase. Right, so on this lower level, this is about 969 nine square feet. So you get your very squarish living and dining space. You have like a very nice kind of a balcony space out there as well. And then of course you have your bedrooms tucked away in this very private corner, uh, which later on we'll show you. So right now let's start from the main door. So where Daniel is standing, right on over here, this is your main door. And if you take a peep outside, right, actually uh, you'll notice that we are actually the only unit at stack 01, which is uh, on this side of the walkway. So the other side actually has two doors, which means more privacy for you and your family as well. And then once you enter this zone, uh, it's very squarish, very easy to put furniture. Right now there's like this huge uh, three-seater recliner and the original dining space is actually located over at this corner. Uh, but what our owners have done is that they've converted uh, basically this space because this is actually like under stair storage. You get like super deep storage. My hand can go in but it still cannot touch the wall. <laughs> it's like super deep. Right, you can put in like shoes, uh, like what our owners are doing or some using it as additional storage space. Although you already have that home shelter space, there's even a little, notice like a bar fridge there at this corner which is very thoughtfully placed. Very cute little fridge, right? And right now they have relocated the dining over to this zone over here, which can simply also fit up like to a six-seater table. If you like what you can do, I think if it's me, I would suggest zip track the outside of the balcony. I would bring out that dining area to the outer area. So simply if I open up this door. So what I'll do is I'll expand that dining area onto this zone as well. Uh, maybe change these doors to um, flush on like a bifold style to one side so you can simply open up the entire space. Right, so I think this is nice to have. You have like greenery looking on uh, right in front of you. Very nice kind of a uh, lush greenery here. And I think the space is a little good in a sense. You can simply maybe put in like a small coffee table as well as two chairs to chill in this zone, have tea in the afternoon if you like. If we move on along the living room, the flooring here actually is in a marble kind of a towel, so they are very durable. You can simply give them a repolish if you like. Of course, the ceiling height is also decent here. Uh, this is probably around like a 2.8 meters type of ceiling height. So let's head on into the kitchen space, right? Uh, so the kitchen, I think what we love is tucked away in this corner. Uh, if you're doing heavier cooking, of course, that bifold door is already here for you. And right now in the kitchen space, there's like this L-shaped countertop already done up. Uh, three burners with an oven space. And what we love is the fridge is tucked away in the corner, doesn't jut out into your walkway. And not forgetting, of course, your bomb shelter or home storage space is located right here. We can keep all the brown brown stuff, for your housing stuff and all that for your kids, all inside, luggages and whatnot. And what is also interesting is that there is this corner where your refuse chute is also located so you don't have to kind of head on outside to bring your trash on a daily basis. This is also like a semi-yard area where you can do clothes hanging right on over here as well. So I think the kitchen is a good kind of layout, um, very squarish to use uh, for your daily cooking needs to cook up a storm for your family.
And let's head on to the bedrooms. So common bedroom is this one over here. So if you look at the original floor plan, this used to be uh, like a study slash bedroom too. And this actually used to be a bathroom area. Our owners have already converted into like a mini studio work from home area, which I think everyone needs nowadays. And because of this conversion, right, you get to see that this mini study space is super bright because there's like three huge panels of L-shaped window and panel, right? And then if you move on over here, you can comfortably put in like a single bed in this zoning. Uh, with your wardrobe being over on this corner as well and this room what you enjoy is there's this mini balcony outside so you can head on out so right now my owners just put it to display their bike and stuff like that right so this space also overlooks the entire landed zone from here which is the same view that you see from the jacuzzi area on the level two so i think the person who is using this room is probably going to enjoy this view so if i kind of want uh, maybe for your kids if they want to have like a bed area in this zoning and you have a study zone uh, for them in that corner i think that's perfect or you can simply use this as a full on study like what our homeowners are doing so studio over there there's like this musical uh, area if you want to put in like a piano you can put it over here as well yeah and i simply love this home because it's super bright this is like again your northeastern facing at this corner this wall that you see actually in front of me this is structural so you cannot take this down but i think it acts like a very good divider between your um, bedroom or bed space together separately with your kind of work from home area or study area for your kids so you can just keep this, I think. If you want to, you can put, hang on some artwork over here. I think it will look great. So moving on to other common bedroom. So this one is a larger bedroom. Very good size. This is like a king size bed right here. Uh, you still have space to kind of put in like a bicycle in your bedroom. You still have space for like a TV. Two huge panels of sliding wardrobe in that corner. So what I love about Queen Court is also the windows are in this huge piece of window panel fashion. So you can simply open it up for natural ventilation. So what you can also do is you can also do up your um, TV console area if you like over in this corner if you want to. Another probably option that you can do is maybe uh, if you change this to like a queen size bed or super single, uh, you can actually build up your study or work desk kind of on the bay window itself so we can show you some renderings of how it looks like over here so i think the room is very fantastically sized in this one not forgetting your common bathroom is over here i think it's very well maintained uh, you have your under mounted kind of vanity storage cabinets you have your sink your shower area has this um, semi shower screens that are already done up so they have kind of excluded the door so it's ease of entry and exit so i think that's great if kind of you have kids or if you have pets and you need to shower them, you don't need to have that door in the way to kind of block your way. Uh, but if not, of course, if you really want to put that in, that's also possible. Just get a glass contractor, you can simply install that. So I think the overall, the common bathroom is very functional and it's fully equipped as well. So let's have a chat about the amenities in the area. So those of you who are Easties, you know that the East is filled with lots of good food. There's also some uh, very popular schools in the zoning. So in terms of primary school, within one kilometer, you find Hate Girls School as well as Tanjong Katong Primary School. So in terms of amenities and shopping malls, you have Juchek Complex, you have Kinex Mall, you of course have your conservation shop houses located along the entire Juchek zoning, which has retail as well as food options located right there. Uh, you have the Geelang Sarai Market and Food Center. You have the PLQ Mall. So I think this size that you have for a three bedroom is very comfortable uh, for you to live here as well with you and your family as well as your kids to grow up in. Uh, schools are also in the vicinity, lots of food as well. So I think this unit at Crane Court, you definitely need to come have a look. Now, if you want to have a physical viewing of the place, the contact information for our listing managers are located in the links right down below, right? So if you enjoyed this home tour with us at Property Lim Brothers, do remember to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. We're also on other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, as well as TikTok. So do follow us and subscribe to our channels there as well. If you want to find out more about research as well as a new launch and editorial kind of insights, Head on to propertylimbrothers.com. Uh, that's our website there. And hit on the insights link. So that's where you'll find uh, nicely curated in-depth research articles done by our research and content team. So I hope you enjoyed this home tour here with us at Crane Court in District 15, Freehold Nature. My name is Mark Chan from Property Lim Brothers. And as always, happy to show you the place. Take care. Wow, look at this. You have like a mini balcony as well. Hey, just now I mentioned the part downstairs got no outdoor space for camp. I'm gonna have a shoot then. Your hair is long, like three times my hair. <laughs> sure not. Oh, where's the reserve is? Go like that, uh. you know, the bubble inside, how you cut? Five dollars only. Okay.